Having a unique setup on your stream with unique effects, unique transitions, and things like that can be a big factor to your success in your streaming career. Well, I set up something where I can push one button and have multiple lights turn off and on, a microphone mute, another microphone unmute, and I can just walk over to have a completely different setup in the same room. Today, we're gonna to talk about that. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your stream technician. Real quick, if you're new around here, enter into PC Tech Hardware News Gaming Stream Tips and Tutorials and Reviews, you're in the right place. Click that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. And uh, also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash Coalition Gaming Crew. So drop us a follow, stop in on one of the streams, and let's talk some tech. I recently redid the setup in my room completely from scratch and it turned out awesome. That video, by the way, will be linked right up here and down in the description below. With that being said, I did all sorts of stuff with smart lighting and smart plugs usage through a stream deck and there's a video on that as well which will be linked down in the description below which actually be really important to the content of today. Long story short, I'm using a stream deck with multi-action to trigger all sorts of different light changes, microphone source changes, muting microphones, and going back and forth that way to almost make it look like I'm changing completely different rooms when I push the button and move over to the other part of the setup. I like to have a small theme on the streams every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific where I drink some beers. Actually, my sub emote is just the psycho sticks on, beer is good, beer is good which is fantastic because then I get to drink more beer whenever anybody subs. <laughs> so I like to crack open a couple of beers when I'm streaming to keep the party going. Well, before what I would just use my overhead camera that I had set up, which was okay. You can see me walking around the room, get it from the fridge and I'll cheers you guys by, you know, raising a, raising the glass up to the overhead camera. Well, I had a new idea and that was utilizing a spare webcam with a USB extension cable, my table that I move around the room to work on stuff, this microphone, usually the microphone that is on top of this camera, but I could repurpose it, an extension to plug it into my computer through the mic in jack, and then the Stream Deck multi-actions in order to change scenes to have my beer break scene. So I got a couple things to show you guys regarding that setup and then we'll go down to the desktop so I can show you how I did it and how it looks. Entering the room, you can see right here I have a cable running, well basically from behind the desk over. This is the USB extension cable, it's one from Cable Matters. I'll leave a link down in the description below. I believe it's like 16 feet. And as you can see there, there's the little booster section where the webcam is plugged in. And then I have my spare Logitech C920 up here on a tripod and uh, this is what I'm using because well it's my spare webcam it's really easy if you just have a USB connection it'd be a little bit more complicated doing this with like a, a mirrorless or DSLR but you know this is what I have in hand so that's what I'm gonna use I did the same thing with the uh, with the overhead camera that's up there <laughs> so and then uh, over here I have my microphone which is a Rode Video Micro but I've also used like a random stick microphone that I have and it worked reasonably okay but I got this back from a friend who I let borrow and I have it like gaff taped to this gorilla pod and I set the gorilla pod down on the desk have it off to the side so it's a uh, it's a little more out of the way instead of right in the middle of the frame with the uh, the camera over there because it would kind of look look ugly if it was right in the middle you know it's got this dead cat on it so now you might be wondering how did I connect it from there to there well let me show you now the lavalier mic that you're hearing me through came with a 20 foot extension so you could use like any um three and a half millimeter aux cable extension basically and I have it running you can see right there it's running there down through there uh, above there <laughs> over here across this and then finally into the headphone jack right there and then I went ahead and added that in OBS as a source, put a noise suppression filter on it, and there we go. Now the cool thing here is that when I hit my beer break button on the stream deck over here, which is this button right here, I have one set up right here, that one, that will turn on that light, that light, and that big light up there, 
And what it, what that will do for me is light me up here at this little section where I'm standing. So the webcam, which needs a lot of light to work well, will see me perfectly well. And then when I'm done over here, I can just go right on over here, hit my button for to end it, which is, let's zoom in on it right here, beer break off talking and off gaming. So if I want to come back to my main talking screen, I hit this one. And if I want to come back to my gaming screen, I hit this one. And then what that will do is turn that light off, turn that light off, turn that light off. We'll move away from using that microphone so there's no echo. And then it will unmute this microphone. So that way there's no echo. Everything works. And yeah, so that's, that's all the parts that are involved here. So let's demonstrate it. All right, so here we are down at the desktop now. And let's just do the quick demonstration before I run into showing you how any of this really works, at least uh, the quick rundown of that. So I'm here, I'm just talking, I'm like, hey guys, it's time to crack open a beer. So I hit the beer break scene, Look, just like I showed you, beer break on. And now I can switch over here and uh, now there's the rest of the lights turning on. So here I am at the beer break scene. There is one thing that I forgot to mention is how to monitor my chat when it's on a screen over there. Well, I have a spare phone. This little thing, I just pull up my Twitch chat here and I can just monitor here and I don't have to look over over there because the audio is worse looking this way and uh, also it just looks worse. Where, where at least I could have this here. I'm looking down at it, looking back up at you guys. Microphone can hear me clearly and everything seems to work. So I crack, I say it's beer break time. I have my mini fridge right here. Bring it out, grab a beer. And I say cheers. And the poor one. Oh, this, this is looking like a tasty one. Now these are ones my wife picked, so I'm probably gonna share some of this with her. This is from MK Brewing in San Diego. Or I guess I guess it's McKellar Brewing, and it's a Berliner style Weiss beer brewed with raspberries and coffee. So let's go ahead and pour hers, and I'll take it to her. take this to her shortly. So there we go. I even have my uh, my coaster over here when I'm going to use that. So there's both the beers. Beer break scene done, right? Okay, now cheers to you guys. Let me taste this. The coffee, that's tasty beer. Coffee really does come through despite it looking nothing like coffee. Very interesting. So there's a quick demonstration of the beer break scene. Also something that's nice for when I'm building up here, if I'm gonna be doing any work up here, height adjustable desk. So pretty neat. Let's get back down to the desktop and uh, you guys will see the transition back down to there. And here we are as the lights just turn off by themselves behind me. And yeah, ready to get back to it. And yeah, as you can see, it's right over there, all the stuff. But when I do do that, I feel like it's almost like going into a whole different room, which man, do I dig. Now let me pull up the Stream Deck software and show you guys the uh, sequence that that works in. So uh, let's go over to the desktop scene, which is right here. And we're gonna pull that up. Stream Deck. So here's the beer break folder. Now break on. That's what I'm pushing to get from here to there. So let's look in here. Look, I got four things. That's it. Four things. Not that complicated. Now, the complicated part is setting up the, the smart plugs that I did with if this then that, and that is covered in the video linked up here. I've previously mentioned it, actually it might not be linked up there because I can only link it once per video, but definitely link down in the description. So make sure you look there for it. With that being said, I have one of the smart sockets to turn on the light that's at the door, another smart socket turn on the light that's up above, so a fill light, and then I have another uh, Stream Deck uh, feature here function to change the scene to the scene that I have you know configured for over there with all these things in it and then you know what I figured hey 
I'm going to be up there. This mic right here, it can still be a problem. It can still hear me. It's a condenser mic. It can pick up a lot. I don't want to be echoing between the mic that I set up over, the, over there and this mic right here. So I did another function here inside of uh, a stream deck that will mute the source in that scene. So it will mute my mic. So this mic will be muted as soon as I hit the button. So no more echoing and we'll be relying solely on that mic over there, which was configured in OBS. So yeah, pretty, pretty nifty. And basically these functions get me all set up to go back and forth. Now, let me show you real quick the uh, beer break off talking, which is what I showed you when I came back down here. And again, it's four things and some basically the same thing. Instead of plug on, it's plug off, plug off, change scenes in my talking scene, and then unmute this microphone. And hey, we're back. Now, I suppose that the setup could use better mic over there because the mic quality like that, uh, it's not the exact, not exactly the greatest, especially going from this mic to over there. But uh, that is, you know, as with anything when it comes to streaming, there's always an upgrade to make or something to work on. So definitely something I'm going to be working on. I do have another microphone I plan to set up there, but this setup is going to be a little bit more complicated because of how it's used. But we'll see and we'll figure it out. So that's just part of streaming. You know, the more I use this scene, the more I realize like it's actually even really useful if I wanted to do PC builds and things like that on the same scene. I have my table, I have my camera, I have my lighting. And yeah, it's far more useful than just my beer break scene where I crack open a beer for you guys. But, you know, I am going to be using this a lot more. So make sure you follow us over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. And you'll see it live on stream if you follow there. It's really fun to come up with really neat stream tricks. And it's not even so much that you're doing anything technical per se in OBS to get something like, the, like this going. You're just utilizing functions of a stream deck in order to structure this. So you're, it's like a one button studio. That's like the coolest feature to me is like one button and I get studio lighting changes switched over. And all I got to do is walk over. It's slick, man. Now you might be asking yourself, well, I don't have a stream deck and I don't want to buy a stream deck. Good news is that you can do everything that I showed with touch portal as well, which is a, a free or cheap, depending on how you're going to use it. Stream deck alternative. I have a video setting it up linked right over here. It also will be linked down in the description below. Now the touch portal setup process to do this would be a little bit different, but maybe if you guys want to see how to set it up with touch portal, you can drop a comment down below and we can talk about it like that maybe see a video later on. With all that being said, if you like this video, click that like button, subscribe. We always got more stuff like this coming. And yeah, I mean, this was a fun one for me and I'm really happy with all, how it all turned out. So hopefully if you guys have seen it on stream or are going to see it on stream, I'd love to hear your thoughts demonstrated in this video. Yeah, what did you guys think? Drop a comment down below, let's talk about it. And join our Discord, follow on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the things. Everything will be linked down in the description below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.